Hi, we're continuing to explore some of the artisanal crafts here at the 2023 Wool Folk Festival. Could you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about why you're here? Yeah, uh, good afternoon. My name's Andre Strong Bearheart from the Nipmuc tribe in Massachusetts. Uh, we're here just showing some of our cultural arts and some of our cultural practices that we do and um, just showing representation of our tribe and that we're still here as a people. Thank you for that. And what types of arts would you like to show us about and maybe talk about some of the cultural significance behind um, some of the practices or some of the objects that you might show us? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, today here I got my uh, nephews with me. Uh, they were over here playing a traditional game called Hub Hub. This is a thousands of year old game here. So what we've been doing here is uh, teaching about traditional brain tan and showing how to, showing that we're paddle makers, showing that we're drum makers and and showing our traditional ways to people and there's ways that we were showing them in uh, building traditional homes and and what it takes to do that you know there's some cedar poles over there that you'll see in a tripod and uh, we fight for these cedars that's why I have these signs here and uh, um, a lot of the times our cedars in our forests are in a really um, sad state in health and so it's important for us to be able to be in there harvesting and um, teaching these youth how to build these traditional homes and um, doing what we've been doing for thousands of years here you know and so in doing that we have these workshops that show how to do these uh, traditional brain tan you know so these deer skins over here then turn into items like this which are like blankets um, or buckskin and which we would um, use to clothe ourselves and uh, make certain things like bags and items to be gifted away like that and to cover our drums here and so it's important to acknowledge that the life of this animal doesn't just go um, it doesn't finish with the end of its life you know and how most people just harvest for the meat it's important to acknowledge that we have a relationship to this a tuck is what we call it a deer and it's important that we honor it in all those ways Wonderful. And could you talk a little bit more? You mentioned that your nephews are playing thousands of year old games. Um, to you, why is it important that the youth are engaged in learning some of these games and parts of your cultural tradition? Yeah, um, because first off, until 1978, it was illegal for us to still be who we are here. Even though we still were being who we are here, um, it had to be under wraps. Um, there was things that uh, were not okay or legal for us to speak our language when we say uh, and we talk about that language that was spoke here for thousands of years that's an act of decolonization you know and so assimilation has put our people in a particular place where um, society has a draw it has a attraction to these youth you know and so it's important to get them in healthy spaces like this and remind them about who we are and watch their spirit wake up in that way, you know. Well, Will was very blessed to have you here today with us. If there are folks who are interested in learning more or engaging more with your artwork and what you do, where can people find you or where, what organization are you with or how could we, how could we learn more? Absolutely. We have a nonprofit called No Loose Braids. Um, you can find us at nolosebraids.com. Um, and yeah, you know, we're obviously on Instagram and Facebook and so you could find us like that. But uh, yeah, we're, we're more than happy to have support in all the different ways, you know, as uh, Nipmuc folks. Um, it's important that we have proper representation when it comes to uh, being who we are, where we are. And, and like I said, for so long, we've been quote unquote invisible to society. And just now people are starting to open their eyes. And so um, we are still here. Thank you so much for, for speaking with us today. We appreciate your time and hope you have a wonderful rest of the festival. Thank you for that. Cut the bottom. Of